yeah, I mean, we, we've kind of known that for the, about the last month, you know, that that was going to be our path. So, um, you know, all hands on deck to go, go get that job done. Is it difficult to kind of keep the guys thinking one game at a time, not looking at the whole tournament at the picture? Um, I, I think you just have to, you got to get in that mode of um, just being as competitive as you can be on that day, you know, and I think if you do that, then you just you hit the reset button the next day. So I think ultimately, you know, we have big goals here, you know, um, we talk about those goals uh, at the start of every year. And so um, you got to, you can't shy away from those things either and knowing what's at stake. So you just, you go play and, um, you know, Hopefully we, we can come on the right side of some things here. The tournament starts today, but you guys play tomorrow. Will, is it an advantage or disadvantage to have that extra day? I know it probably affects your pitching and your plan for that quite a bit. Well, it gives it gives Olsen an extra day uh, of rest. Um, it gives Bryce Matthews an extra day of rest. So from that side of it, um, it probably has helped us a little bit. Um, it obviously condenses things a little bit with um, the lack of days off. but. Really, at the end of the day, you, you really need to win the first two games, you know. Um, so that we have all of our pitching lined up and ready to go. Um, and then only threw 60 pitches last week. Um, Shea's fresh, only threw once last week. So um, it'll be, and I, you know, I like the emergence of Kyle Perry in the at the back of games right now. That's that's been a welcome addition, um, you know, to finish some of these close games off. So um, you know, we're we're. We're looking forward to, to getting down there and, and uh, you know, having a chance to, to get off to a great start tomorrow. How is Bryce doing? Bryce is getting better. Um, you know, he's, he's moving around a little bit better this morning. Um, he's, it's really, you know, he's swinging the bat fine, you know, so um, just a matter of getting some little, little kinks worked out and, and uh, you know, hopeful that he'll be able to go full go tomorrow. With him being out on the weekend, how much of that was load management versus like he actually needed a load? Well, he needed to, he needed the, the, it wasn't load management from the standpoint of I probably would have at least DH'd him. <laughs> you know, it's it, at some point he just didn't feel like he could go. Um, and again, kind of knowing we're already in the tournament, you know, the, obviously the seating would, could be affected, but I just, we needed to get him. 100% or feeling closer to 100% this week and and playing him last weekend would not have gotten him there. So um, I wouldn't say it was, hey, we're trying to get him off his feet because he's tired. It was just he really couldn't go. Um, it just the, the tightness there and, um, you know, I think it was the right move. Is the DH play this weekend? I do, yeah. Is the DH in play for him this weekend? Oh, yeah, it is, yeah. I, I, I'm hopeful, though, that he can play defense. I mean, I, I think it just – it lines up better for us if he can play defense, um, I think, with uh, maybe having another chance to play a matchup with the DH situation. So, um, yeah, I'm hopeful that he can he can go back and, and be full go that way. If you make it to day three behind Emmett and Jace, where do you go next for your starters? Great question. Well, I, I really don't I don't I don't know. Um, I think we got to do whatever we got to do to win the first game, obviously. And then we'll see where we're at after that game. Um, Kaminsky will be ready to go game two. Um, kept him on a shorter pitch count as well last week. So whatever we've got left at that point, we'll, we'll look at it and, and uh, you know, see see what it looks like from there. Will, it's your first tournament as head coach of this program. And yeah. for a lot of guys, it's their first experience in this tournament. So what are just kind of your expectations of, of being in this environment? Well, it's it's they do a great job. Um, you know, was there I guess 2014. Um, you know, we played in front of 20,000 people, and the championship game. They, you know, our people here do a great job running the tournament. Um, it's obviously a great venue, um, and having a lot of Husker fans there. I mean, that we feel that that support. So, um, yeah, just. Like I said, I mean, we're excited to get to get up there and and, and play, and uh, you know, we're playing to win. We're going to play to, you know, to, to win a championship. Kind of walk that line offensively of using your power and playing small ball. Yeah. Considering the ballpark, is it small going to be more emphasized? Yeah, I think what you've seen from the last couple of weeks is is in play for us. You know, we've had some guys that have executed some some bunts, some hit and runs, some safety squeezes. You know, that type of stuff where. It makes us a little more versatile offensively. Um, we've cut the strikeouts down to the last couple of weeks, which has been good, and we really haven't sacrificed any power. Uh, so yeah, I just think just that that team brand of offense, where it's just you know you, you've got the star power at the top of the order, and those guys have been there all year. Uh, it's the it's the role players at the back half of the lineup, and I say that they're great players, but they need to play a role. They need to be willing to take hit by pitches, walks. 
do what it takes to move the offense and set and set the, the top of the order up. And we've done a good job of that the last couple of weeks. And you know, we've found ways to score um, over the weekend without Matthews in the lineup. So that was that was good that we could get a series win against a team that was fighting for their postseason life um, without Bryce. Max and Bryce were both named uh, all-conference first team selections. I don't think anybody's surprised about that. We know we've asked you about them quite frequently about right. uh, their success this year, but seeing them rewarded uh, with that, what does that mean to you as their coach and to them for all the efforts they put in? Yeah, they've they've been, uh, you know, in a year where you've seen it sometimes with guys in their draft year where you put too much pressure on yourself because of things that you can't control. Those two guys have been amazing at just day to day, just being the best they could be for the team. And uh, that's probably the thing I'm most proud of them for because, you know, Max and Bryce, they both had accolades before, you know, they're, they're, they don't play for those, they, they play for the team. And so uh, I'm, I'm proud of how they've handled the expectations. Um, and, and they've really led us, you know, all year long. I mean, and unbelievably consistent and, and uh, two guys that are going to play baseball for a long time. Will you? Uh, in your coaching career, have you won a conference tournament before? You were part of that 05 team here, right? Yep. Like yeah, we won the SEC tournament uh, in 2016 uh, at AM. Um, and then, yeah, we, we won um, 05, I guess it was, when I was a volunteer coach on that team. So, And then three times as a player, obviously, here too. So um, Texas A&M, I think a couple different times. 07, we won it. So, yeah, it, Bricktown, we won a few championships and uh, played in – some finals in the Big Ten Championship, you know, as an assistant coach. So um, pretty familiar with with the tournament format. Is there is there just some common thread there, I guess, uh, just in terms of the momentum and you got and just getting on a roll to win a tournament, any event like yeah, that? Yeah, I think you, you gotta you gotta be hot at the right time. And I, I always hesitate to use the term hot because I just I think it indicates the ability to be up and down. You know, I just want to be consistent and. You know, that consistency has kind of slipped through our fingers sometimes this year. Um, so I'll gladly say right now I feel like we're playing, we're, we're hot. We, we've got a, a team that feels good about themselves. We're, we're going offensively. Um, we've got some roles kind of established on the mound. And, um, yeah, it, all it takes is, is four more wins. And, you know, you can, you can turn a lot.